Hello, I'm Pastor Mark of Overbrook Presbyterian Church. I'd like to invite you to spend the next few moments with me reflecting together on God's Word. Today, we will continue in 1 Peter chapter 1. Today, focusing specifically on verses 24 and 25. For all flesh is like grass, and all its glory like the flower of grass. The grass withers, and the flower falls off, but the word of the Lord endures forever. The previous verses are referring to our salvation and point out that our salvation is not of the flesh or things of the earth or of our own works or good behavior or accomplishments, but rather our salvation comes from God and actually comes from the Word of God. And to some of us, that may sound challenging because we can think about all these wonderful human accomplishments. I mean, scientific accomplishments, um, the, the architecture, the buildings, the governments, the, all the things that human beings have accomplished. And when we compare that to the word of the Lord, it can seem like, really, or are we really getting what's best? Would we not be better off if, if our salvation was based on the things of man's creation and accomplishments? But just think with me a moment. Think about the Roman Empire, how great it was, how vast it was. But notice that I'm using the term was because it is no more. And the great architectural accomplishments that the Roman Empire accomplished. And yet today, if we visit that, what do we visit? The ruins of that. Every scientific advancement that human beings have accomplished, yes, they were wonderful in their time, but it doesn't take long before something else is discovered or uncovered that brings into question that wonderful advancement or accomplishment that had just been accomplished a few years ago and either turns it upside down or causes us to realize that we really don't understand as much as we thought we did. Yes, everything that is of the flesh withers and dies. It can be wonderful and it can be impressive and it can be a thing of power and, and great importance in its day and time. But all of it passes, all of it withers. And the thing that stays the same is God's word, the thing that endures. I was told that Voltaire, who was a great atheist in the 1700s, he used to claim that within a hundred years of his death, Christianity would be wiped off the face of the earth, that the Bible would have no meaning and, and would just be totally discarded. Guess what? It was about 50 years after his death that his own printing press and his own home was being used by the Geneva Bible Society to print more copies of God's Word. And I dare say today, many, many, many more people have read the Bible than have read anything that Voltaire ever said or wrote or published. I find this passage so comforting and so reassuring. And I am so glad that my salvation is not only not dependent on my works and my deeds and my accomplishments, but also that it's not dependent on anything of man or of flesh or created by man or accomplished by man, but rather 
is based purely on God's word that endureth forever. Thank you for spending this time with me today, reflecting on the word of God for the people of God.